beer o'clock on me, Lil Craft Beer. I'm joined by Stuart Pickard. How are you doing, Stuart? Good. Yeah? Yeah, it's been a while. Come down from Yorkshire to see me. Uh, top guy. Thank top you. guy, this one. Good friend. Um, yeah. Good friend. Always and a pleasure meeting Simon. Yeah, being a good friend. He's brought me really a little decent little beer. beer. Uh, this is a Declaw De Brewing Company's Sweet Baby Java. Yeah. It's a espresso bean infused chocolate peanut butter porter at 6.2% yes. ABV. Stu, explain what this... Uh... Oh, so whenever you travel through the air and such, in the carriageway of the plane, the air will expand and pop the cap. So sometimes it's best to have prevention. That's why I, I put salt it around the top. Ah, right, I thought the brewer did it. Ah, no, no, no. I got no, no. you, I got you. So this is a, a limited version of the Sweet Baby Jesus, which is a very good beer. This is a bit the baby version, yeah? This is the upgraded version of the ah, Sweet Baby Jesus. Ah, right, a Sweet Baby Java. Yeah. How so much do you want, Stu? Just a small dram. Just so enough for taste and so sort of melt have some as well. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, beer in the glass. Beer in the glass. Let's chuck this in and Mel can, Mel can share this. Okay. With me. Uh, two finger tan coloured head. Yeah, yeah, jet black beer. Oh, it's a, it's a little bit of light coming through. Yes. Yeah. Well, not too much. It's dark, yeah. reddish brown. Absolutely. Uh, but it smells it's good. Carbonation, yeah. Peanut okay, butter's coming through. Really nice. Uh, Ooh, beer yeah. weighs in at 6.2 percent. Yeah, from Baltimore, Maryland, where I went uh, November last year. Uh, yeah. yeah, beautiful place. I managed to go to Flying Dog. Too many breweries. Too many breweries. Only so much beer. Yeah. You definitely get the peanut butter. You also get um, it's the just, hops on the back end. Yeah. Like it's like berry, like plum. It's nice and not overpowering. It's just nice and yeah. salt. Plums and figs. Yeah. Yeah. Let's dive, let's dive in. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Nice and pleasant. And it's getting the coffee beans in the background. Yeah, loads of coffee. I, I think it's, it's just nice and simple and subtle. Simple, lovely. It, it's so drinkable. So drinkable. The Sweet Baby Jesus. I had a six pack. Yeah. Uh, $10. And For six of the beers, yeah? And it was, it was just so drinkable, I'm like, I'm going to have one and take the rest to the UK. Yeah. You have one, then two. It's like, no, 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 Because no. it's like, these are really good beers. And yeah, like, yeah. You, want to try, you want to try other beers, but it's such a good beer. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, brought this back from my recent trip to South Carolina. Mm. Um, luckily to share it with Mel and uh, Simon today. Yeah. And it's such a good beer. But I do recommend trying the Sweet Baby Jesus if you get a chance. Check out this man, I'll link up in the description box. Ginger Ale Trail. <laughs> hey, it's not the other city way it was. I said, it, I said it the right way this time, yeah. I remembered. Um, this guy's a top guy, yeah. We've been friend, friends for years, yes. years and years now. The joys of beer um, is a social lubricant. Yeah, exactly. The, the, it it's makes, a very social thing. Yeah, you, you meet so many beautiful people over the years uh, from yeah. beer communities and such. And I've managed to travel all over the world via Beer Drinkers United. Drinking beer. Drink, travel in the world drinking beer. This man, he's brought this back from America, yeah. from Maryland. Um, but anyway. Fantastic. No worries. Till next time. Check Til out next Simon time. Martin, the <laughs> real little craft beer. I'm going to carry on reviewing this then, Stu. <laughs> Check out Stu, he's great. He's got a fantastic mouthfeel. Creamy, chocolatey. There's a lot of hops on the back end, plums, figs, and prunes. Dark chocolate, plums and figs and prunes on the back end with the with the hops. Yeah, it's good. It's got a fantastic creamy depth of a mouthfeel, but this good carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. Yeah, I'm going to go and sit with these guys now and uh, enjoy this beer. Um, I'm going to rate it first. I reckon I'm going to give that a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Little Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.